in. Her bangs fell. Hey everyone, it's me, X Canadensis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll and toy related videos multiple times a week. And in today's video, I'm so, so excited because we are going to be doing an unboxing and review of the Series 2 Bonnie dolls from Come For Free. So these are a Chinese art doll brand and I have the first series and they're some of my favorite Chinese art dolls ever. I think they're awesome. They're so unique and interesting and I love them a lot. And I'm really, really excited to see if I like these more. I think I like the style of these more just from looking at them, but we'll see if I like the actual dolls better. And these were actually sent to me for free so that I could review them for you guys from Kika Goods. And Kika Goods is a shopping site that gets you Chinese art toys with like really, really good prices and really good shipping rates. I absolutely love working with them and I'm really grateful that they provide me opportunities like this. So anyway, let's get them out of the box. So first we need to get this plastic off. There's a lot of measures like this because if you buy a full set, you're guaranteed each um, doll unless you get the secret one. So most art toys in general will have like a chase or secret figure and this one's no exception. So they, they always like have it sealed from the factory so that you know that nothing's been tampered with. And the if you order the full set, you actually get it in the little shipper display box. Like if, if you were to see them at a store or something, that's how they would be. So I think that's pretty cute. I was thinking I wanted to keep all of these, but honestly, like there's so many of them. So I don't, but there's like perforations so you can pop it up. Like it, it can be really, really cute. And okay, there are six dolls in here. And I don't know where to start. I think I'm gonna start with this one, the bottom middle one. Woohoo! And by the way, while we open this, oh, well, I guess I'll show you the packaging first. So it says Bonnie and it has a picture of the blue one and it tells you the concept, but it's all in Chinese. I'm learning Chinese, but I'm not there yet. <laughs> um, and then it says all members and shows the girlies and they are adorable. And yeah, let's just see who we get. And while we're just sitting here unboxing these, um, please help me out if you enjoy videos like this one and let me know if you like the unboxings like this or if you'd prefer to just see my hands and me unboxing the thing. I totally understand. Also, if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. I post a ton of videos like this one, so I think you'll like it. I specifically like to cover dolls from all over the world. Okay. So in here, we get a little card that almost certainly just spoiled which character we got in addition to the dress. So it looks like we got this purple one with purple, orange, and yellow color scheme. And I will show you all of these dolls up closer later. We're just doing the unboxing part right now. And if you'd like to skip this unboxing part and just see the review part, check the timeline, the little like red thing that's showing the video progress and you can skip around uh there's also instructions because these are actually like they're like ball jointed dolls so they're strung so it actually shows you how to string the doll if you need to restring them also the size if you want to buy extra clothing i really love how thoughtful these art toy companies are this is the outfit which we'll be putting on her for the next part of this video so don't worry about it right now Just take it off your mind so Let's see our first Bonnie. So one thing I was super excited with these is that they have little paw feet and they looked so, so cute in the photos online. So I'm really, really excited to see how they look in person. And especially with the like cute dresses because the other Bonnie set is kind of streetwear inspired. And because they have this streetwear inspiration, they're really cute and super unique, especially among like dolls of rabbits. They look so cool. Um, but I am pretty partial to big fluffy dresses and stuff, so I'm really curious to see which ones I like better. So um, there's also this protective coating over the face so that there's no scratching or issues. I really love these dolls. I think they're so high quality. And I think among the Art BJD companies that I have experience with so far from China, Come For Free is my favorite, or Come For Arts is the company. Come For Free is like this specific iteration of them. But they um, did some of my favorite Art BJDs ever, which were the Polaris Animal Rescue. Oh, these are magnets. Oh my gosh, I was trying to find a peg, but they're magnets. That is so cool. So this doll is so cute. Oh my God. She has the most adorable purple hair and this really nice yellow like gradient to it, which doesn't make a lot of sense. Like how would you have to dye your hair to make it work like this? Um, <laughs> but it looks so cute. There's flowers in her hair and I really like the body sculpt. I love the little feet. That's my favorite part. I think that is so, so awesome. And these dolls actually don't have shoes because of that. <gasps> Their palms have little stars carved in. 
her bangs fell off. <laughs> I really love that the dolls have inset eyes and I think the way that they drew the eyes is also really, really beautiful. They're so cute. I'm very curious if the eyes can be moved around actually. So let me see about that. No, okay, so they're panels. That is something important to know because I've had um, other, the Polaris Animal Rescue Society ones you can actually move, well, one of the characters you can move the eyes. Um, anyway, this doll is extremely cute. Love the body sculpt. Love everything. Um, I'm excited to get her dressed. Also, she comes with extra hands that are little peace signs. Well, with a thumb up. It's like that. Um, so I'm very curious if the other ones are going to come with different hands or if everybody comes with the same little peace sign hands. Because uh, I really like when there's an Easter egg like that where like everybody has different hands they can share now. Okay, I'm opening this one now. So this is our box. So, so cute. And let's check it out. Let's see who's inside. <laughs> Alrighty. So I'm going to not look at anything else. I just want the little baggie because I don't want to know who we got. Okay. Here we go. Well, I guess the clothes are the thing that gives away who you got because I don't know them all off the top of my head. <gasps> a different skin tone. I wasn't expecting that. Um, I've been a bit disappointed lately because there's some of these Art BJD brands that actually do different skin tones and it's really interesting, but I've also been seeing a lot that don't, um, especially more recently, like the first set that I had actually tried. Um, so it's really refreshing to see this. Now this doll isn't very much uh, less pale than I am, but it's something. Um, oh my god, she's so cute. She has a different facial expression, actually. She has her little tongue out. She's, like, licking. Oh, she's cute! Okay, let me get the scissors. And she actually does have different hands. They're doing this. I don't know what that's about, but that's at least something. That is so, so cool. I'm sorry, this is, like, my favorite RBJD brand. I just think they really hit it out of the park every time. So she has a more tan color scheme with almost like a red tone to it, I think. Uh, oh, they only have four fingers. But they come with a hand that has five fingers. I guess that's what's going on. Interesting. Um, but look how nice the body sculpt is. Like, these are really, really cute. And she has really nice green eyes. And... Okay, I thought this one had a side glance for some reason. But they both kind of face forward. So cute. And these dolls are heavy, by the way, especially the heads, because the, the hair is a really solid piece. These are so nice. So here she is. Really, really cute doll. They don't actually have bunny tails, though. So that is something to keep in mind. Okay, now let's see her outfit and her little card. Let's get everything under there. Okay. She has, she has like a very Halloween color scheme. It's got like orange and green. She comes with a huge bow and a bunch of, I think these go on her um, ankles and her wrists. Really cute. Excited to put that on her. The reason I'm not doing it right now, by the way, is because these can be a little bit hard to dress, so I'm not going to sit here and fumble with that on camera. <laughs> um, and then her card, and yeah. Wish I knew more Chinese, y'all. <laughs> I can't read that. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I think this is cocoa. Okay, yeah, no. Got nothing. Oh, okay. It says, her okay, so this is Brown Coco is her name. And then this is Taro Lily. Okay. Now, let's get the last one that's in the first row out of here. Excited. Um, okay. I really, really love the... I don't know which one stands out to me. I like the one with the green dress that has the orange hair. I think I'd like that one. Um, okay. Let's see? Yay! It's the one that I just said I liked. Okay, so this one is so, so darling. Check her out. Again, you're guaranteed all of them unless you get the secret one, but sometimes I worry, like, what if I get the secret one and that would be exciting, but then I don't get my favorite one from the set, I would be so sad. <laughs> um, although I think I'd be more happy about getting the secret one, but that did happen. Um, I bought one of the uh, Sleep Elves sets from Cake of Goods for my husband, because he really likes those ones, and we got the secret, which was crazy, but it replaced the one that I wanted the most, so I was like, <laughs> um, but that was really cool to get the secret one. Uh, so here she is. Let's get her little ears out, actually. And her hands are little points. I love that they have different hands. That's something that I always say, like, oh, man, I wish they would do that, but they never do it. It's her outfit, by the way. Cute. And then let's put her little ears on. 
so cute oh my god the ears being magnetic is so cool because um some people might not want them to have their ears on in fact i think the newest set of bonnie dolls are like sleep themed or something they're not even series three i don't think they're called that i think they're just called like the sleep ones i don't remember uh but they're wearing like pajamas or like dreamy looks and i don't think they have ears i hope that's just that they didn't put the ears on because i would be so sad if they didn't have ears uh so here's the card for her and her name is matcha fufu and yeah she's my favorite one so far she's really cute really really cute oh my god sorry i wanted y'all to be able to see them a little bit better so here she is really cute i love her i love her i really love the eyes they all have pretty distinct eyes like even with different shapes in them and the hairstyles so far are all distinct as well which i love um which i don't mind when these are blind packaged in theory you're not supposed to get all of them i understand why they don't do like individual unique hair sculpts or like eye shapes and stuff for every single one but i really love that these ones seem to be doing that although it might just be that i happen to get one of each unique one i don't know we will see. Okay. This is a little, like, quality thing, by the way. Like, a quality check. Okay. Let's see what we got. Okay, so this is the title girl. So this is the one that's on the cover. Her name is Cecil? Sissy or Cece. Okay. So they're all definitely food-themed. <laughs> uh, sea salt is an interesting choice, I think, uh, compared with the other ones, but... Oh my god, she has a side glance! Yeah. Oh wait, do they have follow me eyes? Okay, that's why <laughs> That's why I thought the other one had a side glance. Oh my god. No, they have follow me eyes. So the way the eyes are placed and like the shape of them, the eyes follow you, but it's really just that it's like an optical illusion. But <gasps> I love that! No, you Y'all, like, if you've never had a doll with follow me eyes, they make photography so much easier and they, they're just so much fun. So another super unique, really, really cute hairstyle with the pigtails. She also has the tongue thing that Coco had and yeah, she looks so, so cute. Let's get her little ears out. I'm really loving all the painted details on these. They don't have body blushing, which is something that I always really want to see in dolls, but they're going to be wearing these big dresses, so you wouldn't really be able to see it anyway. Oh my god. She's so cute! Okay, I'm kind of worried because in the stock photos, I'm not as big of a fan of them as I am in person, but at the same time, I'm looking at these ones without their outfits on, so what if I'm just not super into the outfits? I don't know. We will see. So here is Sea Salt Cece or Sissy. Um... Here is her dress, which is super, super cute. And our doll is very cute as well. And then she has, like, it looks like she's supposed to be doing an okay symbol with her extra hands, but it also doesn't look like that's what she's doing, so I don't know. And again, I love the shape of the wrists and the lower leg. I really think these would be great for all sorts of different customs if people want to do those. I, A lot of these brands will sell the bodies separately, so I imagine maybe these ones do. If they don't, though, these dolls are pretty affordable already, so I don't know. Like, to me, I'm always very impressed by the prices these end up being, because when I first see them, I'm like, uh-oh, and then they always round out to being around $20 to $30 each, which for art toys in this quality and imported to me, um, is really, really impressive. And also, as a reminder, even though I am discussing the price point in this video, these were sent to me for free so that I could review them for you guys by Kika Goods. And I love Kika Goods. I've been working with them for about a year. I've also shopped with them a bunch of times, and I think they're an awesome service. And it is so, so cool that they facilitate getting these dolls to many different countries without the hassle of trying to order from China. I do make orders directly from, um, like, Chinese sites that aren't available to the world, like um, AliExpress, anybody can shop on, but Taobao, not always, and other other sites like that, and it's actually quite challenging, and you have to pay fees, and the shipping tends to be pretty expensive, but um, when I want to buy products from China, that's what I do if it's not on AliExpress, so I love that Kika Goods provides me that opportunity. I think it's awesome, um, and I am so, so grateful to work with them as well. Okay, next. Pink! Oh, she's so cute. Who are you? This is Barry May May. Oh, wow. In the faraway shots on the packaging, this one did not stand out to me at all, but she has a little strawberry in her hair. Hold on, hold on. Oh, she's so cute. Look at her. 
Okay, I, I'm not gonna be able to pick a favorite. I mean, I'm gonna have to go off of the outfits and stuff because all of the base dolls, oh, I've been cutting these the whole time there's been a perforated area. Uh, the hands are a thumbs up. Again, I love when there's something so consumer friendly, like all of them coming with a different pair of hands because I'm sure there is a set you can purchase of just the hands because most of these art BJD companies will do that, which is really cool and I appreciate that. But it's really cool that if you do buy the full set, you don't have to bother to do that because you have a full set of hands. Anyway, so that is awesome. Here is our doll. She's so cute. I love her hair color. I think it really suits her well. I love the green and pink eyes with the stars in the middle. This one, oh my god. Wow. I think her eyes are my favorite. The, the stars in the eyes are so cute. And I love that she has the open smiling mouth and the little barrettes in her hair. She's really, really cute. I think her dress will not match up with how cutesy her hairstyle and stuff is. But um, Kika Goods, as well as just other vendors, do sell different outfits for all of these sorts of dolls. Okay, wait, no, this outfit's actually really cute compared to the other ones. Um, all of the outfits are cute, but a lot of them kind of become repetitive. But I don't know, this one seems quite different, but we'll see how it looks on her. I'm kind of sad, though, because she doesn't seem to have extra accessories unless they're... Oh, no, I think they're they're in the skirt of the... We're good. Okay. And, yeah, so that's Mei Mei. She's really cute. I love the follow me eyes. Every time I look at these dolls, I want to smile because their eyes are so fun. All right, our last doll. So, this could be the secret one who's named Sweetie Fox, or this could be... Orange Pop Pop. Now, I do really like Orange Pop Pop because her dress is this, like, bubble skirt thing going on, which is really cute, but it would be really nice to get Sweetie Fox, I think. I would love to get the secret one. So, let's see. <laughs> okay. Don't look at the outfit. I'm gonna put it under the table so I can't, even if it, like, pops out. Okay. Ooh, here's our doll. Okay, we got, I forgot her name already, <laughs> Orange Pop Pop, that's okay. Um, getting the secret one, I think the odds, the odds are like 1 in 144, I can't confirm that for this one, that's just generally what the, oh no, it's 96 to 1, usually it doesn't actually tell you on the box, you have to dig on Chinese sites to find it. Um, by the way, if you are interested in art BJDs and you want to learn more about them, I have videos just like this one of a ton of different brands, almost all of them in fact, um, so if you'd like to see those check the description. I'll have the playlist linked. I will also have a playlist on the end card of this video. So once you finish the video, there'll be a little thing that pops up and the playlist will be placed there. Also, I founded a doll databasing project called dollect.net and it's basically like a directory, but it's interactive so you can create wish lists and you can like track your collection and stuff. I really, really love it. It's volunteer run. So I founded it and I work on it quite a bit, but it's not just me. And um, we have pages for most of these Chinese art dolls. And if you are interested in learning more information about them, check it out. And anyways, so here is, I forgot her name again. Pop Pop, Orange Pop Pop. I wonder if that's supposed to be like soda, Pop Pop. I don't know. Um, yeah, one, one thing. So I just finished my first semester of Chinese. I just took the final actually a couple days ago. And that's the thing, like, I didn't learn any food words. And then all of these Chinese art dolls are very food based, uh, which I understand because um, China has some awesome food and also their culture is very um, surrounded by a lot of food, which is, yeah. <laughs> so like a lot, oh my God, the dress is awesome. It's a little bubble. Oh, it's so cute. So like, Every time I open these, I'm like, oh my god, what is that character? And it's always food related, every single time. And her hands are just simple open hands like this. And her, that's her, like her five finger hands. And then these ones are the, the base hand that everybody comes with. Just the regular hanging down one. Usually I end up keeping these hands, but if you like to do a lot of photography, I do too. Um, but for display, I like to just leave the simple hands usually. But the peace sign hands, I think I'll definitely be using those. They're so cute. Um, yeah, but this is Pop Pop. And now that they're all out of the packaging, I'm going to fulfill the arduous task of getting all of their outfits on, and I will be right back. I'm very, very excited. I was almost through with dressing all of the Bonnie Series 2 dolls, and I realized I should probably show you the articulation and how these dolls work. So these are art BJDs, and that means that they are strong. Most of these Chinese art BJDs are strung. I don't prefer strung articulation, but it's pretty similar. And I love the way that Comfort Arts does their joints. I think that they work really, really well. 
and they give a lot of motion and also I really like that there's kneecaps as well as elbows. Uh, it's just that small attention to detail that really adds to, I don't know about realism, but like the experience with the doll, I don't know. And there's also rotational motion here, which is super cool because a lot of these dolls do not have the rotational motion other than how you can kind of twist, but then that looks weird. So pretty cool. And these dolls do have a new body because they have paw feet and it looks like there's holes in the bottom. So, well, there are holes in the bottom. So it looks like there's probably like a stand that you could use, but I haven't found that. And yeah. Okay. So you can switch the heads as well as the hair on these dolls. So let me show you the bangs and or just the front of the hair it's not always bangs almost always gonna be bangs though um and the back of the hair actually come off and then this is what you're left with and this is how you can access the string for the doll so basically you'd pull this up and spin it um i don't prefer you do that because it's pretty hard to restring it all but um yeah so that would be how you switch it out you can also switch the eyes out if you wanted to i imagine it's difficult but you have that option and there's also the magnets there which is how the ears are sticking on which is really well done i love the magnets okay now oh let me show you the difference between the skin tones too all right so they have a really good range of motion the one thing i will say is because they're strung though sometimes they're a bit clicky so like in theory you could do this but she's not wanting to do that um so you have to like really manipulate the string in order to get that pose you can't just do this see uh, so it's a bit different from like usual dolls that you'd be used to at the play line and stuff. Um, but it still works and it's still cool. Their chest joint. Oh my God, I did not know about that. <gasps> okay, the chest joint is awesome, as you can see. And I'm wondering if there's also the situation at the bottom, but that provides a ton of motion. It's just that it's hard to get her to actually keep it there because like, even though you could in theory do this, she's not going to want to actually stay unless you pop her out and then place it. See? So, oh my god, that's so cute. It's really hard to get poses like this in a doll. That is gorgeous. Oh my god, I'm really excited to do photography with these. That rocks. And then she can sit not quite at a 90 degree angle. The way you fix that is by carving this out more. You could actually do that if you wanted to. I'm not going to, um, but it's an option. And then she can't put her legs too far back because of the shape of the butt and then as you can see rotational motion here which i love that is really awesome that she has that there's also the knee so that's how the knee works so again you can't you can't just do that and expect it to work you have to like i mean that did work but you can make it work better by actually like pulling the string and making it there you go so then you can get a full kneel as opposed to just the clicking that it will like to do uh so I think that Comfort Arts in particular, they mainly do action figures is what I found, like the Polaris Animal Rescue Society. Those are really action figures. Those are not dolls. But what's the difference between an action figure and a doll? It's pretty, like the lines are pretty blurred sometimes. It's not always going to be brushable hair. So because <laughs> Ken dolls that do not have hair are still considered dolls, not action figures generally. Um, also, this is the foot. So it looks like just like the hands, you can very easily change the foot out. There's just a little hook there. So that's interesting. I wonder if they sell extra foots or if they intend to. I don't know. But I love the shape of the ankle and the wrist. It's really, really cute. Um, and let me show you, by the way, because you can switch the hands out. So the hands are similar to the feet. There's a little hook and you have to hook the hands around it. Now, this is actually pretty difficult to do. I don't know how most people do it, but this is how I do it to switch them out. Also, how cute is that? So again, another interesting thing is that they have four fingers versus five fingers um, options. So what I do is I hold like this. I unhook, which is this way, and then I get a comb or just something like this and I hold it like this and then you get your hand. Um, this is the hand we want pull it out again and do the comb and the comb just like really helps you not lose the hook thankfully most of the time as long as the hook stays on it's not going to like fly in and ruin the stringing but if you do release it you can ruin the stringing and that really sucks so you know something to be mindful of but anyway now we have this hand uh, kind of a weird hand but it's something and once again i'm getting got by the clinginess but i'm glad that i've learned or the clickiness i'm glad that i've learned how to circumvent the clickiness issue because it was genuinely driving me crazy with the other dolls because they, they they're like in theory so poseable but i couldn't figure out how to make them not be clicky like that but that's how you do it you just kind of have to set it down somewhere okay let's put the head back on it's a little bit terrifying as it is <laughs> um and then i'm gonna dress the dolls so in order to dress these dolls you generally have to take the hands off you don't have to necessarily but you're probably gonna want to it makes it a lot easier so um 
yeah, I'll do that and then we'll review everybody. Hi friends, now I'm gonna show you what all of the dolls look like up close and show you all of their little details. These are really, really awesome. So I mentioned it earlier, but series one of Bonnie is pretty radically different from these. So I thought I would bring one over. So this is my favorite one from the first series. This is the, I forgot what her name was actually. <laughs> I think she's the all around artist or something. She's like the singer, um, but she was my favorite. And as you can see, these are quite different. The original ones have articulated ears that are done with like a peg joint. They do also have the follow me eyes, which I kind of forgot, I guess. I don't know. Um, these ones have the magnet ears. Like we mentioned earlier, the hands are totally different. These ones have, they have that really nice kneecap and elbow thing going on, but they just kind of have normal hands and normal feet, which take off the shoe and show you that. See? So pretty different. I definitely prefer the new one's bodies. I really like the faces on these ones and the eyes are very expressive, but these ones are definitely more creative. So I think it's just going to be your personal preference, which one you like better. I definitely think both of them have very strong merits. And I do think that these ones are actually more unique because of the outfits, but I, I prefer the series two ones. I think the bodies just really, they're really impressive. They're so, so cute. So starting off, we're going to take a look at Barry Maymay. And she's our pink themed girly and she's super, super cute. So when I change their outfits, I put their second pair of hands on. So again, as I said earlier, there's a pair of hands that they come wearing wearing <laughs> they come with the forefinger pair of hands with the cute little star on the palm which i love it's really cute that they have the star on the palm um, and then the second pair of hands for some reason has five and i assume that's because it made making the hand poses a little bit easier i don't know uh and yeah super super cute so the pink one one of them has bracelets and anklets but all the other ones just have the anklets anklets are cute they cover up the like joint there quite nicely which it's not really an unsightly joint or anything but it's nice that it's covered and i really like the motion that the ankles have it's really nice and I'm, i've been a little bit confused because the dresses are actually a little bit too big it's weird so it, it was hard to put on the sleeves on most of them but everything else was fine but as you can see there's quite a bit of room in the dress i assume it's because they wanted it to look like poofier and less form-fitting but it's very interesting it also helps it fit on other ones of these art bjds and yeah so this dress is pretty distinct from the other ones she's got a little red collar a red button a white button i will say the buttons are just glued on and they're not glued on well so please be careful i accidentally knocked off these ones when i was dressing the doll um i put them back on but oh well yeah that's already coming off again so <laughs> you know be careful i just used elmer's glue to reattach them but as you can see it's not working out super well so just something to keep in mind. <laughs> anyway, she's got this little mesh layer here with, I don't, yeah, there's some sparkles on the trim. I really like the trim. It's really nice. And this little bunny button is very, very cute. And there's also a green bow here. And then on the back of her hair, she's got a little bunny bow. Super darling. And I really love the way that the hair fades into yellow like that. It's super, super cute. She's got these two barrettes and this little butterfly barrette as well. Very, very cute. And, oh, I was trying, sorry, I was trying to demonstrate like, wow, magic, but it fell. <laughs> oh, and then the eyes, my favorite part. So cute. I really love these. Love the stars in the eyes. So, so cute. And she has the open mouth sculpt. All right, next up, we'll take a look at Brown Coco. And this is what she looks like. So she is probably one of my favorites. I think that she turned out really, really good. I really like her eyes. The bow fell off again. Sorry, I really wanted it on there so that I could at least show you what it looks like. So anyway, um, I was not very well able to put it back on. I'll use um, like fabric glue or something to actually put that back on because sewing it would be pretty difficult. I could try though. Um, her dress is a dress and then an apron and i really like hers because she has this big satin bow on the back it's super super cute and to actually put on the aprons by the way if you want them on correctly you have to take off the head so that the straps look like this because that's how they are on the cards they're not crossed on the cards like they are like they would be if you put them on without taking off the head interestingly she has this little cat button thing so i don't know what that's about and yeah, I really like her dress. I like her color scheme a lot. Her eyes are absolutely adorable. And oh, her hands, I didn't really show, but 
Well, I showed them, but I didn't explain. So the pink one comes with little thumbs up hands and this doll has a unique skin tone that nobody else has, so you can't share hands, but she actually has the hearts, the little heart hands, which pretty cute. At first I was like, what is that supposed to be? Like, is she just doing like an okay symbol, but not quite? No, it's, it's a heart hands, um, which is pretty cute. And before I would have been like, I can't make her do the heart. What's going on? It's because you have to pull the, yeah, you have to pull the strings and then pose it and then um, kind of fiddle with it a little bit. And then you can do your heart pose. Yay, heart pose. So yeah, she's pretty cute. I'm bummed about the button situation. Just be careful. Um, that's definitely something I hope that the Bonnie dolls improve upon if they do buttons in the future. Hopefully they don't glue them like that or at least glue them better. Maybe with like an iron-on glue as opposed to just whatever glue they applied because that was what was showing underneath the bow. So clearly they just used some kind of glue and called it a day. Anyway, she's got painted on barrettes here that are crisscrossed. Her hair is brown with like orange accents to it. It's very subtle in most areas like right here, but it's super cute. I love the flower. Look at the tiny, tiny little yellow center to that flower. She's got this little, is that a cat too? The bow has like a creature in there. I don't know. Her ears, which the ears are so well painted. I love that the ears all have that like color fade from the hair to the skin, skin tone. I think it's super nice. And yeah. She's a really, really cute one. I really like her bow. I wish everybody had the bows. Because, I mean, this is Sweetheart Party, allegedly. So, I don't I don't really know. Like, why are some of them dressed like maids? Who knows? Anyway, the next one I'm going to show is Sea Salt Sissy or Cece. And this is what she looks like. So, she has the OK symbol hands. So, I'm going to be putting her original hands back on. But I just wanted to show how they looked with the custom or, like, the different hands. Uh, I don't super like the okay symbol hands but i i super appreciate again i have to like very make this very clear even if it's not my favorite hand shape i super appreciate that they come with the hands like the extra hands at all i think it's really really nice because usually like a doll line like this would include just the pair of hands that they have and then offer you to, that you can purchase other hands extra so i really like that each one comes with a different pair and since most of them scare, share a skin tone you can actually just share the hands between them but then with coco you can't so i wonder if they do sell extra hands for coco anyway cc has the tongue mouth i don't know <laughs> um and i just love the follow me eyes i'll never get over it it's so cute and her face is super super darling i love her color scheme these two just have that like super dreamy hair color it's super pretty i love it i love it so so cute like i feel like these two go together i feel like everybody has kind of a partner but I think it's just a coincidence. Uh, again, she has those buttons, so hopefully those are attached a little bit better. And as you can see, like the construction of these outfits is just super impressive. Love the button. And I really appreciate that the outfits are able to hold themselves open without any kind of structuring underneath because there's no crinoline or anything. And yeah, just works super well. I like it. Uh, again, her hands look really weird because <laughs> uh, if you're like doing the OK symbol, then fine. But otherwise, like, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? <laughs> right, our next doll is Macha Fufu. I think this one's my favorite. I don't know. She's really, really cute. So she's got that like orange and green color scheme going on, which is just a very, very cute color scheme. And her eyes are really, really like regular, I guess. They don't have some weird symbols in them. They just look like anime eyes. Super cute. I like that she has green eyebrows too. You wouldn't expect that with the hair color, but I think it looks nice. She's got the fluff in the ears in yellow and her ears don't really have much of a fade, but they did add yellow to the back. Um, She's just so cute. So she's got the crisscross barrettes painted on as well. The yellow one's hard to see on camera. And then this really cute bow with barrettes painted on. And with her, she was a little bit tricky to dress because of these. You can't move her as much as the others because of these. Like, it, it's interesting. I do really like this hairstyle, though, and I'm glad they did it. I think they pulled it off well. Uh, another thing, I clipped this because this part was like melted or something. So I couldn't put on like it wouldn't close. So I used a safety pin. That was kind of weird. Uh, so I've never really had like quality control issues with the clothing on these dolls before, but that's something that I had with these. So something to keep in mind if you are thinking about purchasing them, you may have to have some creative solutions like this. But um, with the price point for me, again, uh, these Right now, they're $20 on the Kika Goods website, and that, if you spend a certain amount on there, you get free shipping a lot of the time. Anyways, I really, really like this outfit. So there is a dress that's just a cream color, and it's got the little purple buttons, and then this is an apron that, again, you have to remove the head to put on. And I love her hands. She has the little pointing hands. 
they look really cute <laughs> they're so so cute these dolls are so cute and i think her color scheme matches really well i've had this problem with some other chinese art dolls too where like this one the color in her hair and even the bows here doesn't quite match the outfit and i've had that issue with other ones where i'm like in theory i like this design but it doesn't quite work so i don't know maybe it's just a fabric sourcing issue it doesn't quite match the design they were going for but this one absolutely perfect i think all of the colors went together really really nicely and she's super super cute and i love her little anklets too so so precious i love these dolls their faces are just so cute so so cute and I really, really love that between series one and two, they radically changed the look. One of my husband's biggest complaints, because I always felt like he would like these Chinese BJDs a lot because he likes dolls that are this size and he likes very anime looking ones. But his qualm with a lot of mine, especially the Antu ones, is that they all kind of look the same facially, which I don't mind because I was looking at the outfits and the fact that some of them are centaurs, you know, but I totally understand where he was coming from. So I really like that with these. If you buy both series, they're radically different. Or if you really, really like this one but you don't really like this one at least like this one exists you know so like if you didn't like these bonnie dolls they didn't do anything for you but these ones do i like that they're changing them up i think that's really cool anyway next we have taro lily who i think is a sleeper hit like for me she didn't really stand out at all um also i'm telling you guys they all have kind of somebody that pairs with them i think these two pair together really nicely they're really cute um this one's one of my favorites as well I'm not really into the orange and purple color scheme usually, but I think this really works. I love that it's this like weird burnt orange too. I wouldn't think that would work, but it does. Her little bow is actually sewn on, so that's not going anywhere, which is really nice. Her hands are the like peace sign, but with the thumb up. These are probably one of my favorite pairs of hands. are really, really cute. Um, isn't she just precious? And I love the way the like mascara is done the structure around the eyes so so cute and her hairstyle she's got like these two little i don't know what to call them like bow buns it's like a bun but it's you can't see the end of the hair because it's tied in there i don't know and the yellow to purple hair color is very interesting and i quite like it and also the ears fade from yellow to the skin tone not purple to the skin tone and it's really cute and you can see the purple in there too i just love all of the different faded colors I do wish these had body blushing. That would make them the perfect dolls. That would make them the, like, ultimate ones to me. But I think these are so, so good. And things like this, having the gradient in areas like this or in the hair or on the ears is honestly probably better because, you like, more people can appreciate it. But I don't know, just, like, a blush knee on a doll just does so much for me. I think it's so precious. And, yeah, very cute outfit. I like the, like, gingham a lot. It's really cute. And now, for our last one, we have Orange Pop Pop. Orange Pop Pop has one of the coolest outfits I've ever seen on one of these dolls, like as their stock outfit that they come wearing. Uh, usually they come with something pretty basic, which honestly all of these, their outfits are not very basic, and that's something I appreciate about Comfort Arts. The outfits will be fairly different between the dolls. Like, in this series, the Series 1, they were quite different, so... I think it's really cool that these ones all have fairly different... Like, the silhouettes on a lot of them are fairly similar, but they went out of their way to do this. Now, this is, like, stuffing in the skirt. Look at this. It's so cool. So, so cool. And she's orange with yellow. I guess her match would be this one. Ah, her ear fell off! <laughs> That's something you need to look out for if you carry these dolls around or something. Um... Hmm. I don't know if these two go together. I would have to work with it and find who everybody's perfect pair would be. But anyway, this one's super unique. I think this one's probably the most unique one in the set because of the silhouette of her dress. I will say, though, that I'm having trouble getting this to stay down, so I'm probably gonna have to iron it down. Um, her hands also are just kind of like this. Very interesting little hands. I think some of the hands work better with the wrist sculpt than others, and the, the main hands work great. And yeah, she has the open mouth. I don't know. I think my favorite mouth on these is just the the ear, um, the neutral mouth. I think they look the cutest with just the kind of nor normal look to them. But wait, which one did my favorite have? Ah, this one. Yeah. But the open mouth is quite cute too. Just super, super cute. There's just not a lot of space between the nose and the mouth. I love that there's like good blushing on the face though. And check out the like, the liner in orange and her little orange eyebrows. And she's got this little... Um, oh, <gasps> a shared hair sculpt. They didn't do that any other time, did they? Uh, no, they didn't. Interesting. Okay, well, there's one shared hair sculpt. 
that flower is what clued me in. Um, I'm not bothered by that sort of thing. Again, like most of these art BJDs will have like lots of shared hair sculpts. So the fact that there's only two in the set that have that is actually pretty impressive to me. But that's something to keep in mind. I do wonder about the secret one. She seems to have um, pigtails, but I'm not going to show the secret one in case you want to be surprised if you were to get these. Um, but I've seen her before. I just don't 100% recall what she looked like, but she's pretty cute. But I love the articulation. It's so good. With the kneecap, it just really helps so much and it looks so much nicer. And yeah, this one's super cute. The dress on this one is really impressive. Also, I was pretty surprised because before I left, um, I left the house for like several hours and I came back and I had set up three of the dolls standing up and they were all still standing when I got back. So they're pretty good at standing on their own. I do wish that they came with stands or there was a stand to purchase. It seems like maybe there's plans to have a stand or something because there are holes in the fee, like I mentioned earlier, but I don't know. It is very interesting. But anyway, that is it for this video. I really love these dolls. I think that at the price point that Kika Goods is able to get them like exported with it they're like pretty good i cannot believe how affordable the chinese art dolls are like as someone who often imports from other countries the amount i normally have to spend for shipping is so much so i absolutely love kika goods service and i'm so so grateful that they work with me and send me these dolls because it's really really cool to be able to review them for you guys and i would not be able to review nearly as many so again huge thank you to kika goods for their support i don't earn money off of my link by the way it's just a discount code i'm sure they track it but i can't see any numbers off of it um so just so you know using that gets you a discount it may influence their decision to send me more dolls in the future but like it's not something that's earning me any money um but yeah that's it I would love to know what you guys think of these ones. Are these pretty impressive or do you prefer like the look of these ones? I think I prefer these dolls overall, maybe. Ah, I can't decide. I prefer the outfits on these for sure, but I think the magnetic ears and the shape of the body really makes these ones win. But I could definitely see myself because they have pretty similar skin tones. Actually, just popping these ones heads over there. Honestly, I think I might end up doing that um, if, if I bought another set of these because they're just so cute. Uh, the, the one thing I will say that I wish they would improve on, other than the quality control concern um, of these falling off and the weirdness with the like clasp thing that I had here, uh, I wish that they would do more skin tones. I, I really like this one. Like I think that's really cool, but I wish that they would do more. But that's not that's not Kiki Good's problem. That's um that's the company that makes these. I really love all of the dolls and action figures I have from this brand, so I'm really glad that Kika Goods continues to stock them. The Polaris Animal Rescue Society are some of my like all-time favorite dolls in my entire collection. Might be considered action figures, but it's fine. Um, but I just really love all of the really unique and interesting doll concepts that are coming out of China right now. And I if you guys are like looking for a different type of doll than your kind of standard fashion doll that you find in the US, I highly recommend checking these out. I think they're really cool. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And let me know who your favorite is. Okay, for all this time. Bye.